and Mitchell Stark is the man on strike. Beautiful conditions for cricket today. No chance of any inclement weather. Here we go. First ball of day five. Oh, it's a big shout, it's a big shout, but Alim Dar's looking down straight away. That's always a bit of a giveaway. There we go, that's just going a little bit. It's found the outside half of the bats. It's going to race away, I think, for a boundary, though. Our field's pretty quick today. Four runs. Yeah, angle across. A lot of bounce in the pitch, so even that outer half of the bat goes straight into the ground and to the fence. A correction, okay. finger spinners. Tries to catch it. Wickets. So there it is, there's five. Norman Alley's picked up his fifth. That is really good work from him. He is clearly delighted with that, and so are his teammates. Fabulous reward. He's bowled really well, very accurately throughout this whole innings. Been so effective. That's his third five wicket haul in test match cricket. And what a moment. Yeah, the setup with that short cover. He's tossing it up slightly. Cummins obliging, just hitting in the air straight to the fielder, but he's deserved that. He's bowled very accurately. Four is 37.3 overs, and Matt, Pat Cummins out for eight. It's 455 for eight. Oh, that's not a bad shout. That's on target. Yep, that's gone. There we go. Has gone upstairs straight away. So no hesitation whatsoever for Mitchell Stark. Yes, Kurujasin is here out. Pitch in line, impact in line, wicket sitting. Go back to on-field umpire, Aline. Stay with your original decision. Stand by. You're on screen. Good decision by Alim Dar. He knew, though. On his way, Mitchell Stark. Nine down for Australia. Stark goes for 13. 459 for nine. Hey! That might be six. Yep, up goes that finger. Nathan Lyon, I think, is uh, just striding off. He says, that's it. Time for us to have a ball. So that's six wickets in the end. Six for 107. That's brilliant work from Norman Ali. Steven. His original decision out. Pitch outside off. Impact in line. Wicket sitting. Go back to on-field umpire. Hassan, stay with your original decision. You're on screen. Please signal. But not too long till Australian batting was wrapped up with 459 on board. They were all out. The highlight was, of course, Norman Ali's bowling figure, 6 for 107. Along with him, two wickets for Shaheen Shah, Freedina, a wicket apiece for Sajid Khan and Naseem Shah. Bowlers did well. They were patient and persistent with their line and length and eventually bowl Australia out for 459. Time for Pakistan to start off with their second innings with a lead of 17 runs on the board. Imam al Haq and Shafiq Stark to start. Oh, shout down the leg side. Carey's not really interested. Oh, oh Chanter, he's got to be quick. Well, he's going to get five for it. Manus Labashenga. At the backward point, grabbed it quickly. There was an opportunity, and the throw was a little wayward away from. Uh, I think it was Usman Khwaja at Midon. That's four. A little bit of room for uh, Abdullah Shafiq to to put that one away. That will really make him feel uh, pretty good. Yeah, width on offer. And Shafiq said, I'll have a little bit of that, thank you. Well played by the young man. Oh, here we go. That's gone straight up in the air. Two people. It's going to just beat both of them, unfortunately. 
Both Australians went for it. And it just does them both. That one full, well played. That's a really good shot. Beats both of them. Lyon and Hazel were down at fine leg. Both of them just missed a couple of those. Lyon should have got to his. Attempted Yorker. He's on the leg side. An easy gift there on the on the legs. No issues there for Imam. Nice and fine, and that's gone for four. He often called a warm-up ball. The direction was slightly off, and no problem at all from Shafiq. Just a little bit too straight on the hip, and just helped it on its way. Also leg side again, so that's another boundary. Two in a row. You have to get that radar right. It's uh, not often that he is a little bit astray when he starts a spell. And back-to-back -back boundaries for Abdullah, and he's getting into good positions as well. Picking it off his legs. That one a little bit lesser on the leg stump as well, but he's put them away nicely. Perhaps a fraction short, and he's just rocked onto the back foot and punched that through extra cover for four. That's a fine shot. Very nicely played. It's a very good shot. Straight down the ground. Superbly played. Straight as a die. What a fine strike for six. Continuing where he left off in the first inning. Used his feet exceptionally well then. And now again, straight down the wicket, picks up the line in length very early. And he hits it absolutely straight. Wonderful hit. Now that's a very, very good delivery. It's just gone over the top of Carey. It's going to end up being one only. And I'll be very interested to see what the signal is. Amamu Haq is... Uh, not enjoyed that very much and I think it might be a glove so we'll have to wait and see what the what the call is yeah he obviously ducked under it but he's got it right in the middle of the chest just under the episternum if Imam will hug that's gonna have him breathless for a while arm Oh, good bowling. There's been a little bit of grip from that wide line. That's an inside nick, I think, going to race away for four. The left arm is bowling. Stark and Shine Shafri, he provides that for Nathan line, and that's what he's aiming at. Oh, good footwork, good shot. Got to the pitch of the ball, so got it on the full. Yeah, great batting from Imam Uhak. He's been prepared to use his feet to try and nullify the foot marks against Labashain. Labashain's trying to get it in there, spin the ball out of the rough. And Imam's confident, skips down the wicket, places it beautifully just wide of Pat Cummins. The only problem they would have had is that they lost a couple of early wickets. They could have given themselves a tricky session and a tricky few hours. But these two opening batsmen, like they did in the first innings, have played beautifully. So at lunch on day five, Pakistan cruising with 76 for the loss of no wicket. Shafiq 33 and Imam Ullah continuing with that good form that he has in the series. 40 not out for him. Pakistan looking to bat on as long as they can. That's the story at lunch on day five. Let's join the action in session two of day five after the break. Some bounce and also some turn. Good shot. 
Really good shot. That'll just race away. That is excellent batting. And to go along with 100 in the first innings, it is now 50 in the second for Imam Ulhaq. Yeah, just carrying on. Outside leg stump. So the boundary option on the offside, and that is beautifully controlled. And it's been almost typical of his innings. Absolute control. As a memo, good shot, good guess as well. Not a great ball. That's the problem when you bowl that wide line and it doesn't grip, and you get a bit short. You're going to get punished. That's going to be 50 for Shafiq. Bit of a gift when you want to just get to one of those milestones, the type of milestone where you just. You just tick it off. It's all about three figures, really. Had him in his sights again. Love a shame this time. Kept the feet away and the hands, and it went for four. It's a very good shot for four. I think that's what he was trying earlier also. He, he tried to open the face of the bat. The ball got really close to him this time. Down the track. Hammered. Six runs. What a shot. That is forceful. Nice way to finish the over as well. Nine off that over. 42 gone. 133 for no loss. Oh, that's a bit of a long hop. Man out there couldn't pick that up early enough. It wouldn't have mattered too much because he's hit that very well for four. That's a freebie. Yeah, long hop. Commonly known as. Looking to come around and just way too short that and Manus Lubbershane knows that but uh, easy four more runs the 150 now is up for Pakistan well with the field set out as it is that is just an absolute gift goes all the way for six or oh, was that near the KFC bucket no not far away yeah, long hop again. Short, and he picks it up really well. 95 now. Field is up on the leg side. He just has to get a bit of bat and get it up and over the field. That is all in the circle. And it's an easy boundary. Yeah, Nathan Lyon just dropping short. Imam Ulhaq helps himself. Pounds that ball over square leg. Here we go. Into the leg side. Once one doesn't get it. Well, what an excellent session. What an excellent match this has been for the Pakistan batting lineup. The opening partnership in particular have given very little away, have given very little to this Australian bowling attack. Australia, well, they've toiled hard, you'd say, but they're at a, in a tricky position, really, for Pat Cummins, where he's thinking we've got a test match starting not long, what, four days away? So at T on day five, Pakistan 191 for no loss with one short of 100, Abdullah Shafiq, and Imam Al-Haq not far away, 11 short of 100, and one more session to go after this. Seven bowlers in operation for Australia. The wickets column empty. It's hard day's work for all the bowlers throughout the test match on both sides. And 191 for no loss in 55 overs that have been bowled by Australia up to T on day five. The lead right now is 208. Let's join the action in the final session on the final day of the first test between Pakistan and Australia. It is Aman Ohak who is on strike right now. He'll be very keen, of course, to get a single to try and get uh, Shafiq down that other end so he doesn't have to wait too long. Right, here we go. Shafiq on 99. And there it is. 100 runs, magnificent work, that's his first century.
Outstanding stuff from Abdullah Shafiq. This is going to be a day he's going to remember forever and ever. Look at his teammates. He was looking for a loosener and uh, Green was very nice to him and he gave him a loosener onto his pads, onto his legs. It's just a little nudge down to fine leg and what a superb knock from a youngster. One for the future. He's uh, growing with the time, is getting better and better, better superbly in the first inning. Just punch that away, back on the square on the offside, that's going to go for four. That's a nice, solid shot. Nicely played. Just that bit of width, a little bit of width, but timing once again. It's waiting for the ball to come on. And just using the pace and that little bit of width. 202 for none. Sorry, I have to. It brings up the 200 for Pakistan. What an innings this has been. Couple of steps down, not quite out of the middle, but it skips away for one bounce and four. Down the wicket. He's had a big, huge hit at that. He doesn't mind the fielders in the ring. Brings up his century in style, Imamul Haq. Everyone on their feet, and what a knock this has been. Back to back centuries. Absolutely brilliant scenes here. Imamul Haq, 101 now. What a shot that is. Advancing down. Giving himself a little bit of room as well and slamming it over the top. Picked up a boundary with a short delivery. Bit of a long hop that time from uh, Lover Shane. Maybe it's just the time to change the bowler from that end, from the far end. There's a real half volley, half track, should I be saying. We think this is going to be the last delivery. Keeps it out. End of the over. And that is also time. So that's where it finishes. Certainly Pakistan having the upper hand in the test match. And that's also due a lot from the batting point of view, from winning the toss and batting first, where they could amass a big total with a couple of uh, big hundreds at the start. But, uh, they doubled up in the second innings as well, so that's important. And also uh, Naman Ali picking up six wickets. So really good work from these two guys, the two opening batsmen for Pakistan. Naman will up hundreds in both innings, 157 in the first, 111 in the second. So he can be extremely pleased. So the first match between Pakistan and Australia ended in a draw where more than 1,200 runs were scored, 14 wickets fell and Pakistan put on 252 for no wicket after batting for 17.